Well, 51 years ago, my next guest became a member of the Grand Old Opry right here in Nashville, and she still performs there every week. Her heartfelt singing vocals earned her the title Miss Country Soul. I want you to make welcome one of the true legends in the country music business, Jeannie Seeley. Jeannie, great having you here. Thank you. Thank you so much. This is a great crowd. Well, real you're a quick, great man, person. They're all happy. Real, real quick. Before, yes. Because I'll get sidetracked real quick. But Samaritan's Purse you yes, just talked about, I was flooded in the flood of 2010 here in Nashville, and Samaritan's Purse helped me a great wow. deal. And what a I great testimonial yes. of what Absolutely. they do. Absolutely. They're wonderful. Other than that, I was on the Opry stage right after the flood, and, and they were, uh, we were, it was on everybody's mind, and I knew that, so I just brought it up, and I told them that I realized right away how wonderful people are, because people would come up to me and say, Jeannie, what do you need right now? And I told them, Botox. <laughs> Well, I did. <laughs> and can you believe that FEMA does not cover Botox? I am shocked, Jim. What are what, they thinking? What is wrong with our government that I, they couldn't provide a, a lady a little Botox along the way? Well, we need to discuss some of this. But what do you got on mind, Governor? As of now, nothing. Not a <laughs> doggone thing. All right, let me ask you something, because 51 years singing at the Grand Ole Opry, I, it may be a record, I don't know, but I mean, that's, that's a pretty incredible legacy. What do you love about being on the Opry stage? I love absolutely everything about being on the Opry stage. It, the Opry has been a way of life for me. The Opry stands for so much, I think. It represents family. And I always wanted to be a part of that family, not just on stage, but just to feel a part of that family and that support from everybody. I think we try to show family um, morals and support as much as we possibly can. And you know, for so long, the country entertainment world seemed to be very different than other forms of entertainment. In what you just said, mm -hmm. it was a family uh, of artists. They looked after each other. If one of them had a problem, the others kind of mm -hmm. went and helped them out and made sure that everybody kind of survived it together. Is Nashville changed? Is country music changing? Is it, is it the course. same as it was? Well, of course it's changing. And uh, I, d I can't really say that that support isn't there among the younger entertainers because I'm close friends with a lot of the younger entertainers coming up because I certainly want them to care about the Opry and those values because, you know, Sarah Cannon said one time, Sarah Cannon will have to die someday, but Minnie Pearl doesn't ever have to. Mm. Yes. Mm. And that's the way I feel about the Opry. I, uh, I know one day I'll no longer be able to entertain at the Opry. I want to see some young people come in caring about it so that I know that Grand Old Opry will still be there for me to enjoy. I don't want it tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't think but. there's any, any worry that that would happen this soon. <laughs> but let's talk about something that did just happen for you, and that is uh, your star on the Music City Walk of Fame. That is a big deal. Oh. I can't believe it took this long for it to happen, but I'm glad it did. <laughs> well, I was so thrilled. Uh, I was so shocked. I opened the mail, and I opened that letter. What is this about? And I stood there reading. I said, I sat down and said, does this say what I think it says? So I was so thrilled and so honored. And I hope that everybody, if you're downtown Nashville, will go by and, if possible, kind of, you know, maybe do a little happy dance or something <laughs> on my star. But I know how busy you are, and I can't expect you, Governor, to make a special trip down there, so I brought it to you. So here we go. What did you do? I didn't mean for him to put it so far under the couch. 
Could you, you want me to go come? down there and get yeah, it? Yeah, here we go. I will, I will come get Let's it. Let's get our picture. Oh, my. Look at this. That is beautiful. How about the Genie Seeley Music City Walk of Fame, August 21st, 2018. <laughs> oh, that is beautiful. Thank Isn't you, that Jeannie. Great? Yeah. What a nice thing you brought it to us. I did. I want to say thank you. I've loved you a long time. I used to play your records when I was a disc jockey, working yeah. my way through college. And so thank you for helping me get an education, Jeannie. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I hope the right kind of education. Well, no, if your music but, hadn't been so good, uh, maybe I would have never kept that job at the radio station. Well, you know, I don't know why you asked me to be at the show, but I came here looking for a bass player. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we, we have a good one over there, but she's not available because she's playing in Trey's band, but I'm available. There you go. Nobody wants me, so I'm in. All I'm right, all in. let's do it. <laughs> all right, to find out more about Jeannie Seeley's music, her shows, Opry performances, go to JeannieSeeley.com. You can also listen to her show on Willie's Roadhouse channel on Sirius XM and for an online exclusive of Jeannie singing her classic song, Anyone, Go to Huckabee.tv. Watch it right there because we're going to have it on our own TV channel, Huckabee.tv. Okay.